In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a wireless setup guide for applied energistics. I'm basically going to teach you how you can make your current setup be wireless so you can use it on the go. And this is actually a very simple thing to go ahead and do. There's a few items we need and the first one is a ME wireless access point. So you want to go onto your system here anywhere and just add this and you can go ahead and just add it to the top of a wire just like this. Now the next thing you're also going to need is a wireless crafting terminal or any wireless terminal in particular actually. The, the crafting one's the best as it allows you to craft on the go. And what you first of all need to do is you need to go into your terminal up here and or your access point and you need to go put your terminal into this right slot here. By doing this it's going to basically link up the crafting terminal to the system. So this one is now linked and you should be able to go in and access this. So now you can see if I walk around and I just right click with it in my hand, it's going to open up and I've got all of my stuff here. Um, I can access all my items. It's, it's very useful. Now, the next thing you're going to need is a charger. You can connect this to the bottom of your system here. And basically your charger is going to go ahead and charge your crafting terminal. So you want to go in and just right click on there with the um, terminal and it's going to basically go ahead and charge it. You can hover over and you can see the percentage charge right now. It goes up relatively quickly and this is going to be needed because once it runs out of battery you won't be able to access it. Um, so just wait for that to go ahead and charge and then just to get it out you can right click again that's going to take it out and you can start using it. And uh, you can see the battery on here at the bottom but if you hover over it also tells you the percent. So this is 44% right now. I'm just going to put it back in here and let it charge. Something you're going to notice is that the wireless range is actually limited. So if you go too far away, then the terminal is going to stop working. And there is a, you can you get some range for it, but like um, you can see here, I'm now out of range and that's not too far. So what we can do to actually increase this is we can use something in here um, called a wireless booster. So the way wireless boosters work is that you can put one in and that's going to increase the range a little bit. And you can essentially stack these up to 64. And each one that you put in will add, I think, what, two or three meters of range. But that will also increase the energy usage. So you've got 64 in here, which gives me 500 meters, which realistically is probably going to be enough. Um, so you can see here, even over here, it works. There's a slight bit of delay, actually, with it. Um, but that's going to go ahead and work. Uh, wirelessly like that up to 500 meters at that is you can do that you can also get infinity ones but i believe they're going to be creative only so now let's say that you want to go ahead and use your crafting terminal wirelessly but you want to do this in a different dimension so maybe you've got a base in a different dimension and you want to connect it all up this is actually possible to do now first of all you're going to have to go into your system here you can use a smart cable and we first need to get an item called a quantum ring we're actually going to need uh, eight of them and we need to build it in a like this and then also we're going to need a quantum link chamber this is like a multi-block build here and when you put it all together it should go like this and you should be able to look onto it and it should say device online that means you've connected it all up properly so essentially this device here is going to be used for interdimensional or um, cross-dimensional uh, wireless control now inside of here you can see there's a slot for something and what we're going to be putting inside of here is a singularity. But we first of all need to kind of do something to this before we can uh, use it. Now, singularities are made by trash, trashing items. Uh, you can see here you've got to use this to trash these and you're going to get these. Um, so what we need to do with this is actually kind of interesting. So for this next part, we need to go ahead and we need to get our singularity. We need an ender dust and we need a tiny TNT. So we can drop the singularity on the floor. Next to that, we can put the uh, ender dust. And then we can put a tiny TNT here, light it. And if they're close enough together, it's going to explode. And it's going to give us two items here, which are quantum entangled singularity. So essentially, these are going to be used... Uh, for connecting them and these are now connected with each other now essentially the way this goes ahead and works is you need to load this chunk you can do that inside of here uh, you can just select the chunks that you want to load um, like this that's going to keep them loaded and then you can go ahead create this setup uh, in the other side so the other dimension put one of these in one of the machines put one of them in the other and that's going to connect them up so they're wirelessly connected and ready to go so if you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe.